going through the rooms in Roblox doors can be such a fun experience, especially when you throw in many of its monsters and entities into the mix. But what if I told you that you could play the game in zero gravity? Well today, we'll be checking out Doors Gravity Controller Glass Bridge Evade. Yeah, this is gonna be pretty insane, so you guys better wish me luck, because it's going to be pretty sus. And what better way to start the day off by paying 15 Robux for a private server on a game that can be played for free? Well, it looks like we got uh, somebody walking on top of the roof already. <laughs> <laughs> That's the main gimmick of this game and also not only in first person mode But you can also play in third person mode and we're just casually chilling on top of the roof it's Like nothing's even happening over here But this lobby is literally the first room of the game But they turned it into like some spawning room of sorts with items too. Should we get a magic carpet? We can become like a genie in the game. Oh No Dude, I'm literally bugging out from that carpet. All right, those items are bad, dude. Don't touch those items. But let's see what this game has got to offer. Hey, can, wait up for me, man. I'm trying to catch up right here. It doesn't seem like there's a way to hide. Okay, so you can actually open the closets, and then you can hide inside of it, and then try to close it. Yeah, hiding in this game is going to be a pretty much of a chore, I'm just saying. I'm not gonna lie, it's gonna be super trippy, especially if you're playing this in first person mode, because you're gonna get stuck most of the time. Though it is pretty cool just to go around the whole entire room like that. But how is it going to be like when you have to deal with entities at the same time, though? That, I really want to find out. Like, where are you gonna hide if Rush comes through the game, man? You gonna hide in the chimney on top of the roof? I don't think so. Oh! What was that? Emily! Is it like a brush coming through or something? What are you doing there? You're just chilling. Eh, should be no big deal, man, honestly. But might be lucky to find some windows in here, though. So far, so good. I mean, door 16, no signs of empties at all, bro. Not even Seek. Though Seek does come around at door 30. Yo, this is trippy as heck, bro. <laughs> just walking on the side of the wall, just casually walking through the game, man. And of course, there's nothing inside the drawers in here, too. It's probably gonna be nothing inside every single one. This is probably gonna be the easiest game of doors that I've ever seen, man. Like, we haven't even gone through any entities so far, other than the door, because I'm getting stuck, not even able to get through the door. And I'm literally checking every single drawer in this whole entire room, and there's nothing inside of them at all, which confirms my suspicions. It's gotta be one of those Dollar Tree versions of Roblox doors. Just saying. Oh! Okay! I guess we finally got our first, uh, Sights of Seek right here with the eyes. Hey, at least these ones actually moved though, so that's cool. Does this mean the Seek chase is coming up soon? Let's find out. What was that? The room's not dark! And it still made that sound! I don't know about you guys. But I think this is definitely well worth the 15 Robux, man. I'm just saying. Like, imagine paying 15 Robux to play Doors Upside Down, man. I think that's a decent deal, right? We're at door 46 so far, and still no signs of Seek. I'm starting to get utterly disappointed. But you never know. Things might actually change the further you go in. It could be one of those late bloomer games where the action always happens towards the end of the game. Whoa, 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 whoa. Bro, my man figure is like stuck to the point where he doesn't even know what he's doing and who even knows how long he's been staying like this for he could be staying like this for honestly years at this point oh no it's one of these games it's one of those games where you have to go around the library and the books literally tell you the code right on top of the bookshelf i mean it works but okay i guess we're doing it that way by the way with a figure that's standing completely still sleeping while it's on its feet Oh, yeah. <laughs> but that guy was like, oh my god. I think we literally just broke physics of the game because we're literally walking in midair right now. It feels like we're on the moon at the moment. Though you can't even do this on the moon, bro. Just saying. Oh, I might need some help here, boys. Oh no, I'm literally stuck underneath the level, bro. That was weird. Emily, are you okay? Do you need some assistance over here? <laughs> with this bro this should be glitch gravity right here the game's so glitchy to the point where people are going through walls and stuff all right four two six one 
eight. Enter. Boom. Check it like a. Hey, here we go, man. I guess that's the code for like every single door. Coming soon. What? How is this doors when you only get stuck at door 50, bro?